Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is Monday. It is Labor Day. There is no school. School starts tomorrow. Super excited about that and everybody's quiet. So I thought that I would go ahead and go through all of my empties real quick for it's September. So this would be August. So here we go. First up we have candles. I only did get through two because this one is from Make Peace Naturals. I don't know if you can see that label. The scent was in satin sheets. Now, this wasn't a strong smelling candle, but this candle burned perfectly, even and slow and no soot. It was, it was a very nice candle. So even though it didn't have a whole lot of scent to it, I still just kept on going because it was awesome. Then um, after that one, I got through um, the rest of this Wildberry Pretzel from Kushner Creations. Uh, this was a little 8-ounce spike candle, and that was amazing. I normally don't like pretzel scents, but that's what I will make an exception for. Now, I did this a little differently this time. I kind of separated bags from clamshells and all of that. So instead of just going by vendor, I figured I would go about it this way. So... First up, this is from my wax friend, Savannah Blue. This was flannel sheets. This like lit up my entire downstairs room, like lit it up. It was amazing. A destination, oh, nope, sorry. Darcy's Wax Creations. This is Fruity Rings, which is Fruit Loops. This was pretty strong too, except I could not find any information on Darcy's Wax Creations. It looks like she may have closed. Okay, oh, then. Some of these, well, a lot of these are from my wax friend. So um, then we have the bathing garden. I have monster candy and sparkler party. Both of these were very good. I very much liked them. They were pretty strong. No issues there. I have a up north or north creations. This was misfits. Whatever this was, was super bakery and I loved it. Loved it. It was super duper strong. Super duper. I did get some Glitterati from my wax friend. This is a vanilla pear and cotton candy. I was very happy that the pear wasn't dominant. It seemed that the cotton candy was, which was perfect, but it all blended together very nicely. And it was strong, which I like. I've got the Scented Squirrel, Lay Me Down in Roses. It's rose jam, pink sugar, and whipped cream. This was poured August of 2017. This came to me from my wax friend. This wasn't very strong. Like I kind of expected with the rose jam and the pink sugar that it would be a little stronger than it was. Okay, we have Starry Skies. This is Blue Suede Stars with Rainy Day Blues Overpour. This was amazing. If you like those musky, darker kind of type scents, this this would be for you. And I don't know, is Starry Skies the one that's closing? I know that there's a vendor um, who's pretty popular that's that's closing. Um, this is Vintage Chic Scents. This is the Warren's Leaves, the Great Pumpkin Overpour. This is for my wax friend, I believe. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But... Um, Whatever this was, and I don't have my notes in front of me, but the pumpkin was pretty dominant in this one. It wasn't the strongest, but it still had enough to where you could smell it, which is, is fine with me. Uh, I have Back 40 Wax, Knock Three Times. This is Cranberry and Pomegranate. This one I don't think had too much to it. Next up, we have Sweet Candle Melts. This was black linen and amber. This, I, I smelled nothing on this. I don't know if it was my nose or if it was the room or if, because th this was like a, a really nice sample that she had done, or if it was just not like enough wax for the warmer that I put in. But I do have um, some more of hers and I, I think I'll just use some smaller warmers, you know, not like such a big plate and see how that goes. This is Diamond State Soap Company. This is fruit salad. It was layered. Strawberry, orange, sherbet, mango, papaya, watermelon, blueberry, muffin, cherry. I really didn't get too much out of this one. I mean, it was fruity, but it wasn't strong and it didn't last very long. Again, at least to my nose. I have Honey Bunnies Candles and Melts. These I did order. 
Um, there's black ice and dragon's blood. She, I, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. And I think this vendor's gone. I, there was some things like she did stuff and I don't know. I mean, some of the stuff that she told me even while my order was processing was a little crazy. So I definitely don't think I'd order again. However, these were strong. Okay, I have some sassy girl sent to me by my wax friend, avocado and sea salt and emerald sea grass. The emerald sea grass, I really, really liked. The avocado and sea salt, I didn't really get too much out of it. I have MK's Scented Treats. Lavender Berry was really good. Pink Coconut was amazing. Um, Berry Blast. This one didn't have too much to it. I didn't really get a whole lot of scent off of that one. Um, this is She Loves Cake. This was a uh, Star Wars. The Big Ball. I don't know. But this was leather and coffee cake. Um, I didn't have too much luck with this, but my son took it and he melted it in his smaller bedroom with the door closed. And that seemed to have done the trick because it was pretty strong, but it's rich leather and cinnamon spiced coffee cake. It wasn't my scent, but he liked it and that's what counts. Okay, creative enchantment. I'm gonna set those down now. No, don't fall over. Okay, we got through Cedar and Spice, Sweet Vanilla Honey, Lemon Lavender, Sweet Pea, and Berries and Cream. <clears throat> the only one I really didn't get too much from was the Sweet Pea, um, and I think that's just a lighter scent to begin with. I mean, I know it's a lighter scent to begin with, so. Um, so when I store my wax, I kind of do it by when I purchased it, and then I like to mix it up a little bit so I'm not like melting the same vendor all the time. So I am up to Chloe and me all from Easter, which isn't too bad. But um, first off, I got cotton candy lollipops, strawberry lollipops, fizzy pop lollipops, fruity pebbles gummy bears, birthday cake gummy bears, orange lollipop, cherry lollipop, and grape lollipop. These were all amazing. The only one that I didn't get too much out of was the orange lollipops. And I don't know if it was just the scent blend or my nose or what was going on there. Okay, this was easier when I held these. Got some BB melts. Most of these were my son's. This one wasn't Black Phoenix. This was like a cologne almost. Love Spell Pink Sugar and Iced Lemon Danish. Strawberry Banana Cheesecake. This one was a little light. Marshmallow Coconut. This was good. These are, again, most of these are my son's, but, you know, I go into his room, so. Pina Colada, Fresh OJ, and Fruit Slices. This one I didn't smell too much of. Kushna Creations. I have strawberries and champagne. This was pretty good. It was just a sample tart. Circus Dream Cloud is definitely a yum. I've got, I believe this is the last of my Wax House melts, and I did see that she was open again. No one asked your opinion. Um, this one I don't think I got anything out of. And then, oh no, yeah, this one, no one asked your opinion. I couldn't, whatever the scent combination was, it kind of made my stomach turn. Totally not the vendor's fault. It just didn't go with me. But this Amber Redwood and Musk, it says Amber Redwood Musk Chanel. This was good. Normally, I don't care too much for cologne type scents, but this was really good. And I have Wicked Wax of the East. I got cotton candy. This was good. Um, this one she sent me as an extra. It was Birdie Bots. I don't have the scent description in front of me. This one was a little light. I was kind of surprised. Usually, Wicked Wax performs very, very well for me. I did get through a bag of Rose Girls Chunks and follow the Yellow Brick Road. Yum. Yum. And then we're on to... Hi, Dylan. The box of clamshells clam shell, clam and scent shots. All right. First up here, this is a Creative Enchantment. This was Gemstone Wax Cup, three ounces, strawberry rhubarb. This was very, very strong. Loved it. I've got Cloud Nine Aroma, Harvest Berry. Um, this scent shot was not full. I, I don't know if she pours them all like that. Uh, I did not care for that one. Penswood Candle Company and Butter Brickle. This was good. 
Um, I've got some Hidden Holler here, and so far I haven't had too much luck with Hidden Holler. I have Lavender and Satsuma. Just not as strong as I had hoped. Um, Up North Creations. I have Sun Ripened Raspberry. This one is good. I just like the Bath and Body Works. Uh, Mulberry Woods from Creative Enchantment. I think I have a couple of these. Wicked Wax of the East Mystic Orange Moonstone. I did not like this one. It was strong, but it wasn't for me. Uh, next up from Wicked Wax is Blueberry Blonde Moment. This was in my son's room here. This was good. Hidden Holler Fresh Mountain Air. I believe this one I did get. I put it in a tea light warmer. And I did get um, quite a scent throw from it. Wicked Wax of the East Black Sea. This one was good too. Warm Vanilla Sugar from Up North Creations. Yes, please. Okay, here's another Mulberry Woods. Uh, this is Wicked Wax uh, Smoker Friendly. This one, actually, I was surprised. I used it during a party in my downstairs just because we have animals and stuff and you don't want people to smell that as soon as they walk in the door. And this one really took like the yuck out of the air. It was very nice. People moving around me. This is Creative Enchantment Gooseberry. This one, I don't remember being very strong. Not sure. Spring Blossom from Up North Creation. This was good and florally. I've got a flower finery sent to me from my wax friend. This was Jack the Pumpkin King. Pumpkin creme brulee, pumpkin puree, spice, maple rum, and caramelized sugar. And this was poured um, last year, September of 17. I didn't get too much out of this when I used like a traditional Glade warmer, but when I used the rest of it in my tea light warmer, it really, I don't want to say stunk up, but it really smelled up like the whole house. Sweet World Fixins. Um, this was Rainbow Sherbert. I got nothing. Nothing. This is Swanky Candle Company. This was sent to me by my wax friend, too. It's watermelon, strawberry, cotton candy. This was amazing. Amazing. Um, let's see. We have cupcakes from Creative Enchantment. I really like her cupcakes. It's almost like you can smell the sprinkles. It's so good. Uh, Beezy's Tarts. This is Lavender Coconut Milk. This was super strong. I actually got three meltings out of this little scent shot because it's so strong. Fresh Outdoors from Up North Creations. This was a good one too. Loved, loved it. Uh, Stormy Nights from Up North Creations. This, like seriously, smelled like a rainstorm without that worm smell that you get. Um, Amber Pine Cones from Creative Enchantment. This was a musky one. I, I didn't mind it. It was strong. Amber Noir from Wicked Wax of the East. Cotton Candy from Wicked Wax of the East. Grape Soda. This was a good one from Wicked Wax of the East. Bedtime Bath from Hidden Holler. I didn't get anything from that one. Easter Bunny Burps from Hidden Holler. Also didn't get anything from that one. This is um, from Wax Incredibles, Cherry Surprise, Cherry Bomb, Strawberry Jam, and Vanilla. I loved this one. That was really good. I, so far, have found that Wax Incredibles, to me, has really good um, wax. It's, it smells pretty strong. Wicked Wax of the East, Sex on the Beach. Didn't like this one, but that's just my scent preference. Rainwater. I very much enjoyed um, melting this one. I've liked the outdoor rain fresh kind of scents lately i have this is little pony wax creations which she's since changed her name to the healing spa something i, I have it written down I, I will either post it below or you can follow the link to see all the information um this one had it was blueberry donuts it had a little bit too much oil in it you can still see the residue in there so it was sweating it out but it smelled just like blueberry donuts in my first um, experience with this company, I could smell a lot of the dye. It had that chemical like undertone to it to me. And that's what kind of came out to my nose. This one did not. So, you know, I don't know if she's kind of changed everything or kind of what she did, but definitely going on the up and up there. It's nice when you don't have that chemical smell. This is Magnolia Melts, Strawberries and Champagne. This one wasn't too strong. And then 
Another one from Make Peace Naturals. This was a jasmine clamshell. This one was super strong. I was amazed at how strong this jasmine was. It was very, very nice. I liked it. But that is it. That is everything that I got through for August. So, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings. I love to talk about wax. So, I very much enjoy doing these videos. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.